Yo, 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 what is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a meta, probably one of the best, most insane 500k teams that you guys can use in FIFA 2021 20, right now to increase your wins in foot champions and increase your skill rating in division rivals. Guys, this team is absolutely insane, but before I get into the squad builder, I got a quick little message for you guys. So, let me get straight into it. If you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps all you got to do is like this video subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and once you guys have done that take a picture screenshot that head over to my instagram or follow my instagram and then dm me that screenshot of you following the steps and once you guys have done that i can then build your squad and then you can end up like these guys So make sure you guys go ahead and follow the steps if you want me to build your own personal squad. But anyways, enough of the chit chat. I hope you guys do end up enjoying this video. And without further ado, let's waste no more time and get straight into the squad builder, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, guys, so as you can see on your screens right now, for this insane 500k team, the formation that you guys want to use is the 4 3 3 third variation, but that is only for chemistry reasons, all right? At the end of the video, once I've actually built the team, I'll show you guys what formation you should switch to in game. But with that being said, let's waste no more time and let's get straight into the squad builder. So we're going to start off with a striker position, and um, in this position, we got an insane player. We really do. Just a pacey, sweaty player. Someone that's very, very good at finishing, and actually in game does seem very, very agile. He goes by the name of Team. Werner this guy is absolutely incredible man and he's a player which I do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up man he is absolutely insane in this game in my opinion if you guys apply a finisher chemistry style to Werner honestly this guy turns into an absolute beast it makes him so much more agile um and yeah his dribbling just turn, turns into just absolute craziness it's, it's just ridiculous man but yeah he's an overpower card yes he's only got three star skill moves but I guess that's only like I guess skill moves are only important to people if you enjoy doing skill moves like me I love skill moves um but yeah if you want to before and honestly he's still very much usable he's got four star weak foot he's got 89 sprint speed and 93 acceleration he's got 88 finishing guys he is super clinical he's got 85 shot power and 88 attacking positioning and then he's got 83 agility but like i said apply finisher card a chem style to him in game and then it, it, like he he just feels so much more agile um and then he's got 85 ball control and 84 dribbling but all in all overall as a player team of one in this game is absolutely fantastic and he definitely is a meta card to you so make sure you guys go ahead and and pick him up man because he will not let you down but um yeah moving on in towards the left wing spot we do have a new release in form he goes by the name of in form yannick carrasco um yeah this card looks pretty decent if i do say so myself i'm not glad you guys haven't had the opportunity to use this card yet because at the time of recording he's only been out for not even a day yet but um yeah it looks like a very very good card um, he just looks very, very sweaty, to be honest with you guys. As you can see, he's got four-star skill moves and four-star weak foot. That is very, very good. He's got 93 sprint speed and 92 acceleration, 85 finishing, 89 shot power, 86 long shots, 92 agility. Like, guys, he really does look like an overpower card. So, again, I really do recommend you guys get Carrasco. I haven't had the chance to use him yet, but going by the stats, he really does seem like an OP card to use in this game. So, yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and pick up um, Yannick Carrasco because this inform card looks absolutely ridiculous. But... With that being said, moving on in towards the right wing spot, we actually do have um, inform Hakim Ziyech. Now, guys, it, it's, there's a little bit of a twist with it, all right? Because he's not going to be playing out wide. He's going to be playing in the cam spot. But like I said, stay tuned because I'll show you guys what formation to switch to in-game and where players are going to go because, um, yeah... Um, yeah, Ziyech won't be playing on the right. He'll actually be playing Cam. But like I said, I'll go into it. I'll go into more detail at the end of the video once I've actually shown you the team first. But for now, make sure you guys pick up Inform Ziyech. He's absolutely incredible. He's got five-star skill moves. Yes, I know he's only got two-star weak foot. But, um... Yeah, just make sure you don't shoot on his on his weak foot. That's pretty much it. Um, just try your best to shoot on his left foot. But at least he does have five star skill moves, um, which is very very much usable and OP to use in the game. Honestly, I've used Inform before. Fantastic card. His finishing is a lot better than it does seem. Again, I recommend you guys get a finisher chemistry style on this Hakim Ziyech card. Um, but yeah, his dribbling is fantastic. His agility is fantastic. The skill moves, man, just oh, just abusing skill moves with Hakim Ziyech. Honestly, it just makes it so makes him so much um much of a better player to 
use in this game. But overall, man, I think in the cam spot, Akeem Jets can be a deadly card to use. And I think his finesse shots as well um, are very, very good um, in this game. So, yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Hakeem Ziyech. He will not let you down. But we're going to move on and in towards the central centre miss spot. We actually do have a striker, right? And this striker will be playing out wide on the right-hand side. So, like I said, it will make sense. I mean, you guys can play Ziyech on the right if you want. It's totally up to you. Um, but, again, I'm just going to show you, if I was you, what I would do at the end of the video. But, um, yeah, in the central centre miss spot, we do have Anthony Martial. Anthony Martial, a fantastic card, in my opinion. Um, again, I've used this card before. I've actually played him up front i've played him i've actually tried him out wide before as well and he can do a fantastic job out wide it's totally up to you if you guys want to use ZH out wide um but like i said i'm just going to tell you what i'd recommend and what i do personally but um yeah anthony martial fantastic card four star skill moves three star weak foot he does also have 89 um sprint speed and 88 acceleration he's got 85 finishing and 83 shot power martial is a very very clinical player in this game if he gets a chance in and around the box he's more than likely going to score um because yeah he just got very very good finishing he's also got a finesse trait as well which means his finesse shots are just op as hell in this game so again just shooting in general with martial is absolutely ridiculous and then his dribbling his ball control his agility is also top notch as well he is a fantastic card to use in this game um so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick up martial and to be honest you guys watching this video you guys probably know that he is very over overpowered as well anyways but um yeah we're gonna move on and in towards the left cdm spot um we go we actually do have marcus lorente man this card is fantastic you guys know that he is just a meta card one of the best center is to get in the game especially for the value as well like coin for coin probably one of the best center mids in the game this is extremely overpowered man such a good center um, center mid box to box center mid he's got high pace as you guys can see 88 sprint speed and um 79 acceleration he's also got good defending stats he's got 80 standing tackle and 79 defensive awareness but to be honest in game he like he outperforms his stats and what i mean by that is just he plays a lot he, he feels a lot better than what the stats actually do say you know when those cheaper cards they just play a lot better than what their stats do say like laurent Lorente is one of those players same with Valverde as well but um yeah Lorente is fantastic you guys probably know that make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but moving on in towards the right CDM position we got one of my favorite midfielders in the game he goes by the name of Fred this guy man is like if you play like a 4-4-2 or 4-2-3-1 and you like to play quite attacking and you always have one of the one of your two center mids on balanced attack so they get forward you want to have Fred on that on that player instruction because Fred going forward and Fred going like defending is just ridiculous he's so well-rounded he's so good in, in, in attack he's so good in defense he's agile he can dribble he can literally do everything and that is why i just love fred to bits in this game hands down one of the best center mids to use in the game in my opinion he's very cheap yes he's only 81 rated but guys it's all about how they perform in game and in game fred is just an absolute beast of a player man honestly he's so good at tackling winning the ball back passing um he's shooting is decent as well like he in my opinion just a fantastic card and i rate him highly in this game um but yeah as you guys can see he's got 79 sprint speed and 79 acceleration he's very very quick like in game he just feels so quick and like i said man good good agility as well 86 agility 87 balance 83 ball control 82 dribbling as well and then um, some decent defending stats but yeah make sure you guys get fred because he is generally just ridiculous in this game he really really is so yeah you guys will not regret get you, you won't regret getting fred it's that simple but um yeah we're gonna move on and in towards the right back spot we go we actually do have the best right back in the game he goes by the name of Cal walker well one of the best anyway you guys it's all down to personal preference really but everyone knows that walker generally speaking is just one of the best right backs in the game and very very overpowered we got him in that right back spot man do i even have to say much about this guy probably not because you guys know how it is just fantastic man you, you see him everywhere with that link to joe gomez and just giving you guys a little hint um but yeah 94 sprint speed 90 acceleration 83 uh standing tackle good defending stats just just a beast of a player man we're gonna move on you guys know that kyle walker is definitely one of the best players in the game but with that being said moving on in towards the other fullback position the left back spot we do have renan lodi um yeah i spoke i like i think renan lodi probably is one of the most like picked players on my squad builder because if i'm building a Liga team um, he's just my go-to. He's my he's my go-to left back because he's just so cheap. Obviously, Mendy would be the go-to, but he's just way too expensive in my opinion. I just don't think it's worth it, like spending that much on a fullback. Um, yeah, Renan Lodi he just gets the job done again. He does what he needs to do. He's agile. He's got four-star skill moves. He's pacey. Just make sure you get a shadow chemistry style on Lodi so his pace does go up a bit more. And once you do that, man, you're, you're laughing. You really are because he's a fantastic, fantastic card. So yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and get Renan Lodi. But we're gonna move on in towards this overpowered meta center market partnership now in the right center back spot i gave you a hint all right joe gomez he's in that right center back position 
Again, do I have to say much? No, I don't because you guys know how it is, man. You see him literally everywhere. Him and Kyle Walker, you see that pairing so much in foot champions. I think everyone is probably sick of it. But nevertheless, it still works and it just really is an OOP combination. So, yeah, you guys know how it is, man. Joe Gomez, hands down, one of the best centre-backs, or if not the best centre-back to use in FIFA 21 right now. Make sure you guys go in and get him. It's just literally that simple. And to partner up with um, Joe Gomez in at the centre-back position, we do have Sergio Ramos. I think this partnership will work fantastic, um, fantastically together because Ramos is just defensively really, really solid. You know, strong goes into the, uh, into a challenge strong as well. He, he's just general tackling is good like slide tackling is, uh standing tackling is op in this game a defensive awareness fantastic aggression strength all of that is just top notch like his, his whole defensive ability is just ridiculous in this game so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and get him i know he's not the fastest he's only got 70 sprint speed and 72 acceleration but you've got joe gomez the absolute speedster beside him and also apply a shadow chemistry style as well so his pace has got up even more but um yeah with that being said ramos is fantastic make sure you guys go ahead and use him and then to complete this incredible 500 case squad builder we do have De Gea in goal man he's, he's, he's a good goalkeeper to be honest with you guys he gets the job done he should do what he needs to do obviously there's only so much I can say about a goalkeeper and everyone has their preferences when it comes to goalkeepers but in my opinion he's got the he's got the saves with feet trait as well which is a very very good stat for saving one-on-ones um so yeah you can't really complain with this card man um just just an overpowered card he should get the job done make sure you guys go ahead and get him but with that being said as you guys can see this is the incredible 500k squad builder make sure you guys go in and get Marshy out as a center mid so he does get full chemistry Chemistry. and with that being said i'm about to show you guys what formation you should switch to in game so you want to use the 4 2 3 1 formation play relatively high depth do not sit back with this team because that's just boring and if, if you do that then just a shame on you to be honest with you so yeah play at least a minimum of six depth with this team right you got joe gomez at the back you don't want to be parking the bus when you've got a pacey pacey center back all right you want to attack with this team you got the likes of Ziyech, Carrasco, Anthony Martial and Werner in attack. Who wants, to, who wants to be a drop back one depth bum with this team? You don't want to do that, all right? So make sure you play relatively high depth. Um, but with that being said, in this formation, what you want to do is have Ziyech in the cam spot. One up top, Martial on the right, Carrasco on the left, Fred and Lorente as the two CDMs, all right? Then, of course, the defensive lineup will stay the same. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that with this team. And then you can start destroying your opponents in foot champions and in division rivals. But let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this op team with that being said i hope you did enjoy the video don't forget to smash a like button if you did enjoy also subscribe and turn on post notifications and guys i got i got something coming up man i think what i'm i've been uploading for champions highlights recently but i'm gonna start doing challenges like nation um nationality challenges so like english a full english team of foot champions full spanish team of foot champions and i'm not even gonna be using icons as well just literally regular gold cards so yeah if you guys want to see that leave a like on the video and let me know down in the um in the comments below but with that being said hope you did enjoy and until next time peace